The Cry of the Crowd by William Billington God of the suffering yet the silent crowd Whose misery magnifieth day by day Who droop, though not by sin or sorrow bowed But prematurely mingling clay with clay Like Flora's children doomed to quick decay We faint and fail for lack of sustenance And life and virtue wither on his way as fiercely fatal famine doth advance, Declaring crime or death our only choice or chance. We suffer sore, but would not for the world Do deeds to cause a blush or call for blame, Though headlong down the steeps of danger hurled, We welcome death, but dare not sin. We claim to carry to the tomb a spotless name, in spite of wrongs most rude and unredressed. O oh, men are mad, else would war's bloody game No more be played, nor famine more molest, The lowly labouring poor by want of work oppressed. Have we not been a pillar to uphold The world of wealth which crowned our cotton kings, but when our service ceased to gain them gold, Were we not cast aside as useless things? How, like that fabled fool with waxen wings, Men spurn the earth, aspire to deity? Can rivers run, if fountains fail, When springs their wealth of waves? O oh, blind cupidity, thus blasting every bud, of social sympathy. Have we not suffered? Let the weary ground bear witness how we pace with painful feet, earth's barren bosom, but no fruit hath crowned life's budding spring of blossoms once so sweet. Pale poverty now dwells in every street, fair freedom taketh back the boon she gave, brown health and vigour wear the winding sheet. Grim once fell fingers points us to the grave. From this deep hell of ills, thou, Lord, alone canst save. Wilt thou not save the suppliant that kneels, petitioning thy pardon and thy power, to soothe the pangs that patient hunger feels, to make our daily bread thy daily dower, to grant thy grace an unimpeded shower, Descending on this bleak and barren bed, Where wan and withered falls the human flower, Or lowly drooping hangs its humble head. Wilt thou not shield, dread sire, the dying and the dead? For both have prayed, and both are near me now, And both have borne what faith alone can bear. Bright beauty, with the death damp on her brow, Lies struggling, in the arms of dark despair. There is enough, would all might have a share, To make this mournful earth a paradise, But when red mammon makes the millionaire, Ten thousand paupers pay the penal price, Which God, in justice, sets on man's most groveling vice. Penned in 1862, Another poem from the Lancashire Cotton Famine.